Why settle fantasizing about owning a 3D printer? The fact that the desktop 3D printers are now available within the affordable budget, it makes no sense to hold your wishes anymore. With the advancement in technology, the better options are sold for cheaper prices, and the budget is going down with time. In this video, we are going to take a look at the best 3D printers under $1000 you can buy. Links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. If you have other products you'd like us to review, please tell us in the comments below or visit 9to5printers.com. Three, M3D Micro. Don't let the small price tag fool you. Despite the incredibly affordable price, M3D managed to give this little workhorse a bunch of impressive features. First and foremost, it boasts a max resolution of 50 microns, which is pretty damn good for the price. That's on par with the MakerBot's fifth generation replicator and double what most printers in this price range offer. It also goes up to 350 microns for when you're in a hurry and you don't care about precision. Although, as we found out, it's slower no matter what size you choose. More on that in a bit. The printer itself is tiny, measuring just 7.3 inches in every dimension. It's a cube, and weighing just 2.2 pounds in total. That's great for portability, but unfortunately, this small size gives the printer a correspondingly small build platform of just 4.29 inches by 4.45 inches. That's impressive relative to the size of the printer, but no matter how you dance around it, it's still a tiny build envelope. You won't print anything large with this little guy. 2. Mono Price Maker Select Plus The Maker Select Plus boasts an impressive set of features, and arguably the most significant one is its spacious 7.9x7.9x7.1 build area. While this isn't the biggest print envelope we've ever encountered, it's much larger than what we've seen on other machines at similar prices. As an added bonus, the print bed is also heated, which boasts adhesin and helps prevent print warping. The printer's 100 microns or 0.1 mm minimum layer height puts it squarely in the middle of the pack in terms of resolution, but it makes up for that with an absolutely massive range of material compatibility. The Maker Select Plus supports almost any type of filament that you can get your hands on, from ABC and PLA to some stranger filament like jelly and felty. This greatly expands the range of objects you can make with your printer. Out of the box, the Select Plus comes almost completely assembled, but not quite. The machine comes out of its packaging as two major parts that require four screws and some plugging in to come together. Thankfully, there's a great manual to guide the setup process, and a handy accessories bag filled with all the fasteners and tools you need to get the job done. 1. Prusa i3 MK2 3D Printer The original Prusa i3 MK2, not just any Prusa i3 3D printer. Reviews of the 3D new printers can get you in trouble at best of times. It's famously ubiquitous and people have been waiting for an update for a long time. In some ways, expectations and hype can destroy a product before it gets the chance to prove itself. Another dangerous area is where copycats degrade a brand at no fault of the originator. Both are factors when talking about the Prusa 3D printer. The design is so popular, so well known, and revisions are so anticipated. It's almost unfair to go into a review as someone who has been around 3D printers for any length of time. The original Prusa i3 MK2 is not the snappiest of names, and it is perhaps an early sign of just how nerdy this machine is. That said, the nerdiness is both warranted and well executed. Prusa is, as mentioned earlier, synonymous for the RepRap 3D printers, but is actually the surname of the designer, Joseph Prusa. i3 is the major version of this printer, with MK2 being the latest incarnation. No, I don't know why it isn't an i4, especially when some less original printer builders are already marketing under that virgin number, or perhaps because of... Attention to detail is super important in 3D printing, something that is sorely lacking in even well thought of machines. This printer has that nerdy detail in its DNA. Everything about the printer and the experience has been thought through. And that's the end of that chapter. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really grinds my gears.